moving on up the ranks, and you are busy, girl. I am. I'm going to be an executive producer soon. Yeah, let's talk about some of these projects because you have a great voice, uh, animation voiceover workshop this weekend, which we'll get to in a second. But, Thank you. Uh, you've been working on Wild Grinders with the executive uh, producer of The Simpsons? Yeah, Bill Schultz uh, did The Simpsons, and uh, it's our second season, so second year I've been back in L.A. Uh, casting and voice directing, fantastic voiceover talent down there, and Rob Deerdeck, who's the uh, skateboard guru. Mm -hmm. He does, what, Fantasy Factory, Ridiculousness, you know that guy he's uh, he's the lead yeah. and um, I actually just cast one of my students as the lead dog who'd never done a cartoon series before so I'm really thrilled that I got to work with a tuned in grad and they went and Nicktoons just loved them so I'm doing that yeah. and I uh, just finished guess how much I love you for Disney Junior and that's uh, that wonderful children's book about all the little the bunnies and the squirrels and foxes in the meadow and it's little kids I got to work with with. So I'm doing a lot of stuff with really little kids too, and you know I won an Emmy for Madeline, and that was a children's. This is an Emmy winning voiceover animation I director, am. and is it true that Zubilee Zoo, the 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 tried and true program, coming back in animated format, and you're a part of this? Zubilee Zoo was a show I did back in the '80s, and I played was that kangaroo, and she was pink, <laughs> and she always said was that. And so her name was Wazat, but Ben Vereen was in it, yeah. and uh, five other fantastic actors. And so after 30 years since the 80s, I can't believe it, I've got them all together. Ben Vereen flew in, and we recorded two scripts that I wrote, and I'm developing it, and I'm very, very close. It's probably going to happen. I'm saying that before I know for sure, but I do, it. I really, we've already recorded it and Hallmark's really looking very positive to take it on as an animated project. So I won't have to wear the, that friggin' pink out fur <laughs> and prosthetic nose, but, and we all sound the same and we're all doing great. So it'll be wonderful to have a revival of Zubilee Zoo. I'm thrilled. So how do we do this? If somebody's watching this thinking, I would love to do this for a career. Okay, animation voiceover is not like straight voiceover. It's way more animated, bigger, bigger boundaries. It's not over acting it's big acting um, you have to ha you can't be afraid to fall on your butt and look like a jerk is the main thing but uh, you know reading children's book is a great way to get into it reading to your kids reading to your neighbors kids they'll love you um, but the kind of energy that it takes to read a children's book to a child and keep their attention is hundred and ten percent and you know the, the witch said this ha <laughs> ha and here comes the bear and then the little boy and the ruff ruff dog you know if the kids out the the door then you know you haven't got the right amount of energy but if you say you're a macho guy and and, and you and you don't want to play a female well you know this genre wouldn't work for you but if you have no problem playing and, and not not being afraid to you know just fall on your butt and keep that so the second thing is read the children's books of the first one the second one is improv have a huge station. amount of improv definitely but improv less so because the writers don't want you to come off to script improv with sounds like the, the, the writer wouldn't write bark here or <laughs> giggle here. So the improv would be more in the sounds aspect. In between, that's a little advanced. But I would say the three things that would be the tops if you're interested would be read to children's chil children's books to your kids, keep them interested, and that, that gives you an idea of whether you've got it or not, if you can keep them interested, uh, and play all the parts. That's the operative part. So second, thing, second thing is take an acting class, take an improv class. Uh, um, and the, and that's just so that you can get used to falling on your butt in front of people and um, being loose and being in the moment instead of in your head, mm -hmm. uh, thinking from here as opposed to here. That's very important. Um, feeling it. Um, it's one? not about voice, you know. That's the thing. And this third one is to make a demo. You've got to make an animation demo so the casting people can hear you. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter how much your agent says. Oh, you've got to hear this person. I've only got five minutes per person to listen to maybe three or four characters w for an audition. So I, I, I need to hear a demo first to know whether I can bring you in on the audition. So a, a demo will not get you a job. A demo will get you an audition or an agent. A variety of voices, all original, all mm -hmm. distinctly different. That's for an animation track I'm talking. Um, and you want it to, and you want to have um, a lot of great sound effects, music on it. You can get that easily off the internet. And you want to have your contact information on that demo. That's a big mistake. People forget to put on their name, or they'll, they won't put it on the disc itself. 
they'll put it on the you know maybe the hard co copy but people are doing mp3s now they're not even needing the hard discs as much as they used to however it does have a professional air if you can make a hard disc with some nice artwork that represents you on it you know okay well listen tune in.ca is your website you got That's a workshop it. going this Sunday if you want to get involved follow this lady she's done great things in the business Stevie thanks for stopping by and congrats for all the success thank you so much we're gonna make you into a tune next time one uh -huh. day one day side career oh, oh yeah you okay. do a great bark I can do uh, scooby-doo you ready yes oh, oh my gosh that's so very good look at Russ <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scoob, let's go get some pizzas, bud. <laughs>